In this video, I'm going to be showing you how group managed service accounts can be abused in an Active Directory environment. In practice, group managed service accounts make running services and applications across multiple machines easier to manage. However, misconfigurations leading to unintentional access can be dangerous. Group managed service account abuse is done by leveraging tools such as DS internals to query and convert the password blob for the account into a clear text password or password hash. To abuse these accounts, you do need permissions to the object itself. Being able to either change access or modify specific attributes on the object to query the password is necessary, so not any normal user account can abuse this. If the user is able to abuse a group managed service account, it most likely will lead to privilege escalation or at the very least lateral movement throughout your organization. A malicious actor is going to try and do three things in your environment. They're going to want to discover an exploitable group managed service account through some reconnaissance of some sort. They're going to want to compromise that group managed service account password. And they're going to use that password to further their objectives to take over or move laterally within your environment. So let's talk about how that actually plays out in your environment. A malicious actor is going to gain control of an account in Active Directory, one that either can modify a group managed service account where they can change the permissions on the object or add themselves into the attribute that allows for the group managed service account password to be queried, or they'll gain access to an account that can already query the group managed service account password. More often than not, that's going to be system level access on a workstation. Workstation accounts are usually the accounts that are configured to be able to query the password to run the service on the machine they are installed on. The next thing they're going to do is query that group managed service account password. Running some simple PowerShell, you can get the password uh, blob of the group managed service account. Then after that, they're going to actually convert the group managed service account password using the tool DS internals, like I mentioned before. Once they have the blob, DS internals will convert that password into either a secure string, which they can use to get a hash to use something like pass the hash, or they'll actually get the clear text uh, 128 character Unicode password of the account itself. All right, let's move into a demo and see what that actually looks like hands on. So let's imagine that I have achieved system level access on a computer. So I'm acting as the computer account inside this environment. Um, through this, I'm going to do some reconnaissance on the machine, see if I can identify any targets that I want to uh, take over. So with that, I'm going to look at some of the uh, app pools that exist on the machine and see that I can come across that one of the app pools, managed app pool, is actually being run by a specific user. And that specific user is the GMSA dollar account, which indicates to me that it is most likely a group managed service account. I could also confirm this through some Active Directory reconnaissance by looking up this object in Active Directory and understanding more about it and its object type, etc. So now that I have a target, so to speak, I am going to import DS internals and actually query information about this group managed service account. And I'm going to use the Active Directory get AD service account command to pull the MSDS managed password blob. And then I'm going to use the DS internals convert from AD managed password blob to convert that into something that I can use. And we can see here that uh, although this PowerShell window here is not going to show us effectively because the UTF-16 characters, I now have all the information I want about the group managed service account. Then using the convert to NT hash command from DS internals, I can actually get the NT hash of the secure string GMSA password. And there we have it. From here, I can use something like Mimikatz and elevate my privileges and then do a pass the hash with that hash and launch a new command prompt as the group managed service account. And let's imagine that I've done some other reconnaissance in this environment. I've found that this group managed service account is actually used to communicate with the database and it has access to said database. And I'm going to use SQL CMD to actually talk to that database. And I'm going to specify the database that it has access to. I'm going to look at some of the tables that exist in this database. Look, there happens to be a customer table, and then I'm actually going to query some of the data out of the customer's table, and it looks like we found some customer information, potentially social security numbers, and email addresses. 
So it was a pretty quick demo showing how a malicious actor could go from a system account on a workstation or a computer all the way to compromising a group managed service account password and eventually moving laterally, escalating their privileges or using the privileges that, that group managed service account has to compromise data, compromise your Active Directory environment or whatever privileges that account may have or gain them access to. To find out more about attack strategies and how to defend against them, go to netrix.com attack.